Well, good morning, everybody. Good to see you today. I would like to look at a verse that we just heard from this psalm, and it says, I love the house in which you dwell. Oh, we have one more coming. We'll just let you join us. I would like to think about the houses where you live. What do you love about your house that you live in? What's special? What do you have in your house? What? Lots of stuff, but what's some of your favorite things that you like about your house? Anybody have an idea? Do you like your bed? Yeah, it's good to have a comfortable bed, isn't it? Do you like the food that you get to eat there? Yeah. Do you like the, the people you live with in your house? Sometimes it's a little tricky, right? <laughs> I love your house a lot. What about God's house? We talk about our church building as God's house sometimes, don't we? What are some things we have here in God's house that we love? Any ideas? The people out here. Yes, exactly. The church is all about people. Anything else as we come into our worship space or go around our building that you love? I love candles. I like to see candles lit. It reminds us of God's love, God's light and God's love. Jesus. You like the tinted glass? Yeah, the stained glass. Yes, exactly. Well, there's so much to love about God's house. And we hear God's word here, and we come together for God's holy meal. And that's very special, because meals are special whether in our, our house or God's house, right? So we're thankful for God's house, that we can come together and worship together and hear God's loving words for us, right? And come together as God's people. So let's pray together, shall we? You can repeat after me. Dear Lord, dear Lord, thank you for your house. Thank you for your house. And that we can gather here, that we can gather here as children of God, as children of God, and hear your word, hear your word, and worship you, and worship you. Amen. Amen. All right, thanks guys for coming on.